Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft Word for the web and Microsoft Word on Mac OS, then just to let you know that Microsoft is now making the ability to be able to filter comments, which is now rolling out to Word Online and its Mac OS equivalent and counterpart. Now, how this is all basically going to work is, and what it means is that you can now get comments that at mention you active comments and comments that are resolved by using the new filter option and as many of you may know up until this change you had no other option as an example to ignore the comments that had been resolved so what microsoft has done uh, with uh, and in this announcement is they have broken uh, down this process of how it's all going to work into a couple of steps which i thought um, if you are affected by this and are using a microsoft word um, on mac os or for the web just to show you how this um, works in a step-by-step -step breakdown so how this is all going to work is basically you open a document that contains comments and then to filter comments you select the comments button in the menu bar and then you select the uh, filter down arrow and then after that and um, to only show comments that at mention you select at mentions me under filter bar as we can see and then moving on to the next step to clear a filter, select it again. And then to show active comments only, select active only in the list of filters. And then moving on to the final um, demonstration, to show resolved comments only, select resolved only in the list of filters, as we can see once again. And to show all comments, you just select reset all. And that's just a step-by-step -step breakdown as to how this is all going to work. And Microsoft says in this announcement that Comment filtering is currently rolling out to all Word for the web users as well as Word for Mac, as mentioned, and Excel for Mac. So on those uh, three platforms, basically, um, filtering your comments now is available on uh, Microsoft Word for the web, the online version, Word for Mac, and Excel for Mac. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.